Hi, my name is Dana Shatila and I'm a biology junior. Hello, my name is Mahmoud Qansan. I'm a Southern Environmental Engineering student. Salam, I'm Nudi and I'm a senior in Nutrition and Dietetics Coordinated Program, currently pursuing my internship at ABMC. Salam alaikum, my name is Nuri Shahadi and I'm a junior majoring in nursing. Draining. A life chapter. Used to be ice training. Learning was challenging, stressful, and tiring. Frustrating. I can learn at my own pace because most lectures are recorded, so I can just get back to them and take notes. I think online learning is the best alternative so far, uh, so that we don't miss or don't waste our time, resource, and we don't need to wait for the vaccine to appear to this world. Online experience has helped me develop my time management skills and my research skills. Feeling safe that we're not going to be affected by the coronavirus and catch it from one of our colleagues on the university campus was really helpful. I believe that this was a challenging experience that taught each and every one of us patients. It helped us learn how to deal and adapt to such situations and hardships. Trying to divide my time between all the things that I have to do is so stressful and there just isn't enough time to do all the things that I have to do. The deadlines would be unanticipated, the internet connection would be harder, and I would sit for an average of 9 hours in front of the laptop. Add to that, the miscommunication and misinterpretation of assignments and projects that leads to a vicious circle of improper feedback and improper uh, co corrections. The fact that we didn't have any direct or physical contact while lectures was really somehow difficult. This online experience has been frustrating. I've been having a hard time understanding lectures and making time for my daily tasks. It feels like everything is overlapping. At first, I thought I was doing well because I was getting things done and keeping up with the professors, but I was prioritizing studying over my mental health and that soon led to being constantly agitated and nervous and uh, just surviving one exam after the other and not really living. Um, so I wouldn't describe my mental health as sound. I don't think I'm very well. Uh, I have tried so many management and uh, techniques system, but many have failed. Uh, because I think I always put my work and uh, responsibilities and priority and I forget about myself and I forget that I am even having a slower uh, functioning uh, uh, be, um, behavior and uh, mental capacity. I could not have a proper sleeping schedule and I would be panicking over overlapping deadlines trying to prioritize my tasks. Mental health is not at its best for the time being because my entire time is devoted to work and exams without taking it into consideration. Plus, going through this whole thing alone without the presence and support of your colleagues make it, makes it so much worse because it makes you feel as if you're alone in this. I think knowing your limits is key to dealing with the workload because if you expect too much from yourself or set unrealistic goals, then that's only going to lead to disappointment. So acknowledge that you can only achieve so much in one day, listen to your body, rest when you need to, and remember that you aren't alone. The whole world is trying to figure out online learning. My advice is to manage your time because doing so will really help you solve a lot of problems. Forget about the mistakes that I have done so far and just focus what I have in hand. Uh, and always remember the big goals and the, the and the, everything that I have started for uh, since the beginning. Preparing a study plan ahead of time helps a lot because by doing so, you start up your day knowing exactly what your goals for that day are and so you won't end up studying aimlessly. If something did not work out, do not blame everything on yourself because online learning already requires a lot of extra effort and is draining. Learning and studying is very important, but your mental health should be top priority because without your mental health, eventually you won't be able to function or even study, so you should make it a top priority. I recommend that you have a proper sleeping schedule, aiming for 7-9 to nine hours of sleep per day. In addition, try to avoid all the screens at least 30 minutes before going to bed. Try to have a proper eating schedule and have healthy snacks such as fruits and vegetables and avoid chocolate and chips and try to have several deadlines before the major deadline 
and create your own studying schedule. Try to maintain contact with your loved ones even though it was online and, and thank you for watching.